All right, guys, what is up? Here in a game between myself and Ali Vegas. I, uh, he's playing ST. That's kind of scary, right? ST is always scary. Now, what I'm playing is I'm going to be playing something fun. I'll be playing a um, split battle group. It is partially SP and partially Forsaken Waste. You don't see that mix very often, right? Um, the only time I've ever seen that is this battle group that I'm playing right now. Or, hmm, let me think. Like who? Like why? Like what are the synergies, right, between Forsaken Waste and Shattered Peaks? I mean, faction bonus wise, it's not horrible. Oh, here that was one. Uh, the Necromoga one, right? Necromoga. There you go. That would be one. What oh, is it initiative? Since when? All right, it's cool. Um. So, but in general, I don't. I don't see too much. It's, even when the game was a bit bigger, when there were more people playing, I, it was very rare that you saw. Um, SP Forsaken Waste. They just don't have too many things that mix together that make sense why you would play them together, right? There's just not too many synergies there. Um, now, but this battle group is really dope. Now, the person who actually I've seen play this the first time, the, the first person to play this uh, battle group was actually Yobanshi. Yobanshi is a, um, a very old Forsaken Waste player. He's a Forsaken Waste main. Um, and he, uh, he was kind of like... You know how Badgerail would just play UD, but he plays like all everything UD. He would play every different theme. That's basically what Yobanshi did. He would play. Is he gonna gale force me into the lava? No, right? Oh, okay, that's fine. Do I have one two range? I don't. Okay, so I can't really get to this. Hmm, that's interesting. Anyway, so yeah, Yobanshi was cool. He made this deck. This deck um is quite interesting in my opinion. Now, um, what it's based off and how it works is um this this idea here. You have consume resources, right? So I'll get these fonts, right, for, for now, but then later um, I'll use consume resources, which generally means that you have to deploy on your, um, your uh, shrine deployment zone, right? But, but because I'm playing Worms from Forsaken Waste, my deployment zone is all the way up here already, right? His will be all the way back here. So let's, if I, let's say we get to mid game and I play consume resources, then he has to deploy all the way back here, and I'll be deploying into the field. Um, usually, with um, worms, you can kind of hold back a little bit sometimes because you have the uh, font, so you can kind of deploy from the font if they're deploying from, uh, you know, the the deployment zone. Um, another thing why this is good is because worms kind of want to play it slow, right? Worms want this big deployment zone. They want to play it slow so they can, um, you know, maximize this and just have like these very slow. Oh, I can actually just go over here and kill it. No, I can't because I don't have enough damage. Can I use this? How many charges do I have? Zero. I can use the aura though, right? Can I get into the font? No, not with him. All right. Um, so this is actually a pretty cool battle group, right? So you just do consume resources, they can't deploy from their fonts, and then you can just deploy from your shrine deployment zone. Um, another thing that's cool here is there's a spell that actually has synergy with worms um, in SP, and that is actually the spell uh, Infest, I think it's called. Um, you One of your champions dies, and you get a, a Fesh, a Crescent Fesh with Fleet. So you get a, a Crescent Fesh, first of all, which is nice. You get the Noral Globe of whatever died, and you get then um, a champion that is able to attack, right? And on top of that, all of your fesh get plus two AP. So in a normal battle group, the spell is okay. It was really good in, like, I remember when I first started this game, like in the way, way beginning, when I was like 12 um, or 10 or something, I don't remember, when I was really young. Uh, it was actually a good spell by itself too because you just, you know, you sacrifice and you got a champion out of it. Um, but now you can actually, it's, it's actually, um, it's not very good compared to the other spells in the game. All right, let's go and, ooh, I can portal. We can portal up here. But we want to deploy before we portal, right? So let's do that. Um, let's just deploy. What are we afraid of? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I have this one already. I don't know. I, I feel pretty confident at the moment. Um, I kind of want to play my Fesh just for funsies. Just for funsies. Oh, Mirrod is not bad. He has Frost, Frost, Sonic. Magical. All right, let's do this. There. So we can do this. And now we have the extra deployment zone, and now we can just portal up here. And the reason I want to move in first is because there's a commander, right? So that my um, this special only has to attack once, because now he's 10 damage, or, well, more than 10. So I can just one-shot this containment. On the other hand, I could 
No, I can't. I can't even get in there. And I don't have a relic for it either. Um, but yeah, so this means, yeah, I'll just kill this. Now, I don't want to be in range of an attack from him, so let's just put this grid up. So I do not want to be there. So here is fine, though. If I'm right here, I will not get attacked by this Howler. And then we can just move him up. Um, we don't really want to be in, first of all, the um, font because of the spell Frigid Barrier. And we don't want to uh, be too close because of, you know, AoEs, obviously. Let's just see. I mean, I want to keep that. I mean, I'm SP, right? Like, I'm, I know I'm not full SP, but I'm SP, so we got to keep deploying. Uh, so that's what we're going to keep doing. Um, yeah, I mean, do we put this over here? It does have Shadow Spawn, so I could think of, like, going up here. But on the other hand, I have the consumed resources anyway, so is there really a point to go to his font, right? Um, so we just do this. There we go. Look at this. So now if I were to... I'm going to just do it next turn just for fun because I want to see... Um, we can do this in case of lava, I guess. Do this. Yeah, sure. Well, this doesn't even help that much, does it? No, nah, whatever. It's fine. Um... Yeah, so it's a cool, it's a cool, it's a really cool uh, idea, battle group, um, and I think, in my opinion, well, it's uh, kind of hard to say. I, worms by themselves, when Colossal played them, they were like you could. That's definitely one of the themes where um, the skill cap is very high, like very high. So that means that this kind of a battle group is like worms by themselves in my opinion can be tier one or god tier if played by a good player against somebody else like if i let's say um should we just do it for funsies i kind of want to do it let's do it should we do it let's do it boom so i just got you know he can't deploy now right and look at me look at me bitch oh, oh i can still deploy up here yeah hell yeah dude what are you gonna do what are you gonna you doing nothing you've lost anyway that was fun uh, we can paralyze. We can paralyze up here. Does he have cleanse? Oh, does he have the... Yeah, he does have purified. So can we do it on him? He has the uh, mirrored. I'm not in range for it either, am I? No, I'm not. We can do the hex, though. Hex on the champion does the most damage. He will do the most damage because he has the double tap next turn. So we want to be able to... Whoever... I mean, even though these champions might have more damage by themselves. Even though he has 13, right? But he has double tap because of the uh, 3 AP. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, does he... You he can't hex. Ah, I forgot about that. So he can't hex when he's um, yeah, incorporeal. In no, sorry, sorry. Um, incorporeal, incorporeal. Look at me, look at me. I'm learning. This is one guy who uh, who told me that I'm, I'm pronouncing that wrong. So now I always think about it. Incorporeal, okay. Not incorporeal. Not incorporeal. Corporeal. I don't know. However, I said it, but incorporeal. There you go. Incorporeal. Anyway, I could run him away. In all honesty, like I said, I have this game kind of won if I just run away, in my opinion, um, because um, let me just run him all the way away. How? Uh, I can move up here too. That's fine. Um, so we're in the font. We could go back. We're afraid of. No, we're not. We can move him up. He has mirrored shield on though, right? We don't attack that. So we'll attack this once and then run away again. Attack him once and then like just go back here. Oh wait, what? He's also what? They both have mirror shield. How did this happen? I did not notice that. Whatever. Should we move him farther away? No, but he's incorporeal, right? We don't we don't really care. All right. Um, what was I talking about? No, I'm talking about so many. Ooh, that is something I did forget about. The uh, fascinate. I should got out of that range. Is he de stealthed? No, he's not. Very good. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so look, look at this. I can deploy up here, and he, uh, you know, he has to deploy all the way back here, you know? So he doesn't have any, like, first of all, the game is just slowed down, like, just in general. The, uh, the, this spell slows games down so much, and I played Slag so often, and it's just so good because, you know, you have, uh, in Slag, you just want a slow game so you can, you know, uh, replicate and stuff. And when they have to deploy all the way from back here, they can't go in, right? They can't charge in because they have three against your five. They're just defending your shrine. And they're not getting more Nora than you, right? So what you can do is, let's say you go here, they bring something aggressive like a um, uh, Heinen Flame Fist. Let's say they go Heinen Flame Fist first, and they go in here. You go in here, right? Then they just say, you know, let's say if your first turn, then I guess they at least, at the very least, don't get to pounce. And then the next turn, you just play uh, the Consumer Resources and Retreat, right? Then they're like, wait, I now have my champion up here. I want to play aggressive because you're slags, but I can't, right? Um, I'm so distracted at the moment. So these things have mirrored. What am I going to do against that? I don't have any 
Any magical attack. This thing does not have mirrored, but he does have, he does happen to have, uh, can I, I can just hex this again. Not a horrible idea, we'll hex that. Um, do we want to, maybe we can paralyze over here? Not a bad move either. So now he's paralyzed. Sadly, I do want to get out of this fascinate though, let's do that. Again, this uh, mirror dash is going to suck a little bit. Um, actually, a lot of bigs. All my champions do have attack, not physical. Do I have anything with attack physical in this game? Wow, they, oh, here, there's one. We can actually move him up. Because he at least uh, kind of does, doesn't matter if he gets hurt, first of all. And second of all, the uh, deafening aura might, might just do a little bit of work, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. Am I in range of, I am in range with him. I can't get away from the fascinate, so. Uh, ooh, I should have gotten range of the improved range, though. That was kind of a misplay there. I'm a little distracted, as you, as you can notice. Do we want to move him up or just move him down? Like, do we want to support, defend? What are we doing here? One, two, three, four. We should move up here. I don't know what I'm doing. Literally, I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Ooh, I can get in range of this. I don't even know. I kind of want to run away. This won't help because he's gonna get. Oh, I <laughs> went over the lava. My bad. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, um, we could do this, but I don't really, don't really feel like it. I could attack. I don't feel like doing that either. <laughs> oh no, I went over the lava. That was that was not not one of my smartest moves, guys. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah. No, this is a cool cool idea though. I like I like the the, the idea of this battle group. It's funny. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, about like um, skill caps. So, for example, Mogabe, he's a very good player, and I would say that Tiny Dragon is par to him, right? And they're, they're both very good. So is, like, Devil's Wrath, um, Pox Junkie as well. And generally, let's say that uh, Pox Junkie were to play his best battle group, so the one that is STSP. That's the best battle group in the game, in my opinion. Um, you know, I yeah, but probably the best battle group in the game is the STSP battle group. Um, that one's god tier, and of the god tier ones, that's, like, maybe a smidge, a smidge above the others. Um, but they're all very close. Now, God tier is like tier zero, right? And then there's a lot of tier one battle groups in the in the game. There's a lot, really, like a lot of the metal battle groups, for example. Um, but uh, this worms worms by played by a normal player is like tier three or tier two. It's like it's pretty. It's a very hard battle group to play generally. But if it's played by a good player like um, Colossal did, or or if Mogabe could play it. Um, then this would be, you know, very high up there because it's just so hard. Look at this. This is like, why, why you have this deployment zone? How can, how is that even possible? You know, so that's why. Anyway, so I wanted physical attack, correct? So that's that's what this is. That's what this is, right? That's physical attack. I do have this thing as well. It's also physical attack. So I'll play that next. Um, we can just uh, we can just let him dare. Oh, he's healed. That's no fun. Can we kill him then? I guess. I mean, he doesn't have mirrored. I guess. But what if these guys have mirrored? How lucky is that? All right, what do we do? So, what's our game plan when we're getting mirrored? I guess to retreat, right? And just, we'll just go get our fonts again, um, and then we can get do consume racers later. I kind of want to go over here. Oops, let's just run him that way. He's non fascinate range. Finally, we can uh, just double tap. He's probably dead next turn anyway, so we just double tap to do some type of damage. I don't know, I just did two damage, man. That's uh, that's his regen right there. Uh, I wonder what happens to mirrored and mirrored. Does it like double mirror? No, it doesn't. Damn. Ooh, I healed. So lead vitality though. Hell yeah. Am I in fascinate range? I'm not. Okay, cool. So I can double tap here. I mean, I'm not in too much danger, right? I have lead vitality, also not bad. I have fellowship as well. Um, so let's just chill there. Again, uh, spells. I mean, he's playing. What? He's at five champions. So, do I want to? Bring him up. Not really. I kind of want to consume this when I can, just because if it, you know, if it's about to die anyway for the short lived. But for now, we'll just bring him back. We have the um, harvest organs and the. Well, I guess we don't have worm lord. I thought we had worm lord on here. Oh no, that is worm lord. All right, there you go. We have worm lord. So we kind of want to keep that over there, right? We don't want him to die. So we'll just do this, and then uh, right now we're getting we're a font up, right? Because we have both these fonts, and he has only his bottom font. And this thing actually can't get fonts, so. And then once he gets this middle font, we'll just play another consume resources. Yeah. What's he gonna do here? I guess he can attack, right? 
I wonder if I have any Shatter in this battle group. This is my first time playing this. Ooh, I do have Vertical Push. So I could VP some of this. Like, if I VP the Jakai, the Jackie, whatever you call it, then I uh, then he doesn't have the Nora gem anymore. Yeah, look at this. This 48 Nora thing is just tanking like a beast. And I have another one. And their cooldown, that's one of the cool things as well in split battle groups with Forsaken Waste, is generally in Forsaken Waste, with the uh, cooldown reduction, um, when it's at 60%, Everybody, like, I don't know, It's always it feels a little bad sometimes, because even if you have the cooldown reduction, because the battle groups are so large, often you're just like, hey, he has his champions up by the time his last one died, so what's the point of having Forsaken Waste cooldown reduction, right? Other than, like, Broken Bones being OP. Um, but in a split battle group, it actually helps, because then you get the 30% cooldown reduction, and you get the other bonus. So I kind of I kind of like split, split Forsaken Waste games, or battle groups. Alrighty. Uh, sadly, we don't have our other consumed resources yet. I would I would like that. We could... Do we just play another one of these? Or do we want more physical damage, right? What's our what's our play here? And I kind of like range as well. Range is probably not a bad idea. These are level... Okay, range. We want ranged. Oh, what? He doesn't have necrosis. Well, that's fine. That's fine. But look, 4-7 range now. That's not bad. Move up. We could put him in there. I kind of don't want to. Maybe we'll do him instead. Because, again, he's mirrored. Ooh, let's do this. I like this because of the uh, evasive, right? Evasive is fun. Um, and we'll just deploy. The thing is, I'm, again, afraid of spells. But I think this is a fine place to I'm gonna move up one. Nah, it's a bad idea right now. Okay. And with him, do we... We just portal out of here, right? And then just annoy you another time. We don't, hmm. Do we hex? We can't hex and portal. I kind of like keeping the commander up. Hmm. I'll just move him back here, you know what I'm saying? He'll probably play a spell though, right? If I portal into this fight, this range, there's already a lot of people in one spot. So let's do it like up here. There we go. And then maybe, I kind of like the idea of just moving him back. Because I don't think he's going to attack him. Um, I don't really, you know, we'll just chill him over here. Like, I really don't like that I packed these four right next to each other. Because of any spells, like I said. But, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. And again, look how slow this, oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Every time, dude, fucking fascinating, I swear. Anyway, um, yeah, whatever. It's kind of fine, to be honest. Anyway, so he's getting his font back now. And then I'll just uh, use my other consumer resources once I get that. And then he's going to be like, you're deploying on the font. Oh, shit. Physical damage, guys. What am I supposed to do against that? I do a fellowship, though. Ha. Take that resistance. Ha. Again, mirrored. Get wrecked. You know what I could do? I could use my uh, strength in numbers. That's, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'd be seven healing. Which is not horrible. <gasps> I wonder if in this battle group I should... Oh, I wonder. Do I have any 5-speed champions? He has 5-speed. Does he have 5-speed? No, he's 6. Does he have 5-speed? No, he's 6. Because, like, I was thinking, if I have a lot of 5-speed champions, I could think of adding the Cyclops War Drummer. Because it's just a strong champion. It's so good, especially if you want to play battle groups with, like, a lot of champions in it. Well, that was a weird place to deploy the Wolverine, wasn't it? Ooh, should I pl play the Rock Trap? Does he have Detection? This has Detection, right? Yeah. The Crystal Shirt Crawler has detection, so... Dash no bueno. No bueno. Anyway, let's get in range of... Commander, possibly, if we want to attack things. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go over here with the... Uh, that, with that, right? And then... And then... And then, and then... What can we kill? We still am not able to kill anything. Ooh, is this physical? No, darn. Is, this is physical though, but do I want the rock trap? Ooh, rock trap I still have. 35? Alright, I can still do that. Oh, I have my second consume. Should we just do that for funsies? Because again, we can just demoralize him to death. Should we do that? Demoralize him to death? I like the idea. <gasps> How much is it? Oh, I'll do it. Look at this. I can do this? Should I put up here or up down here? No, let's put up here. And then we'll just consume. And he's like, fuck! Again, he lost. He's, again, he's like, damn, I just lost. Again, look, he moved his crawler, this one champion, all the way back there. Now he doesn't have the font anymore. And I'm deploying right here, all the way fucking up here. You know how dope that is? I, do, I find that very dope. Then again, I'm easily amused, so. Ooh, I can paralyze. Actually, do I have to be invisible? No, I don't. 
Ooh, okay, we can just paralyze. Oh no, he is purified, so we can't paralyze him. Can we play as him? Yeah, we can. I'm not in range. Man, I just put the Blood Fiend in my way. Because of this, I can't. Because <laughs> the Blood Fiend's in the way, I can't paralyze the Wolverine. Even though, could I do that anyway? Because of the shielded? I don't know. Uh, damn, this. We can attack him, though, I guess, right? Oh, we can. Yay. Attack him once. Oh. <gasps> And attack him again. Again, though, this time, we're definitely getting out of right in this fucking fascinate over here. And then we can just have him attack him, right? There we go. Easy. Look at this shit. And he'll just go ahead and attack this, because we want the leech vitality, right? So let's just do this. We get leech vitality. We're now up at 21 health. Ah! The turn ended for some reason. I did not see that coming. And again, he has no fonts, right? And we're just chilling. Just, I mean, okay, he killed one champion. <gasps> Ooh, I, I got the uh, soul vitality. Nice. Nice. Uh, I could play Peak's Tactics next and then just kill everything here. Or at least try. Oh, is he going to play a spell? What is he doing? Why did he move that up? Wait, he doesn't have a spell present, does he? No, he does. Damn, okay. Dead a little scary. But I think this dragon is dead next turn. Not sure, though. I mean, we, ooh, he's at three speed because of the uh, frozen. He's not dead yet. And we still have this. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I have to not forget about the Worm Lord, though. So before I kill this uh, dragon, this crystal dragon, I have to make sure to be in range of Worm Lord. Oh, and I have Hex. Hex is good because it gets around, I believe it gets around defense, right? It's a loss of life attack. I'm never sure about these things. Oh no, another healing! That's okay, it's just a phoenix. And look, he just has this champion all the way over here. I'm like, ha! Get right. <gasps> Ooh, I'll just use a avalanche. Easy, and they'll kill everything here. Or at least I'll do a lot of damage, right? Because these things will all hit each other. And the font. And I'll kill this uh, containment unit. So yeah, easy play. So we just avalanche. Do I have enough Nora? I do. Because I have 45 next turn, and it costs 45. So, well, avalanche, we can uh, use the blood, blood fiend, get in range of the worm lord, get the kill. And then, uh, you know, I don't know what else we're going to do. but we'll, Oh, we do have to watch out about this, though. Because if we avalanche and the wolverine hits the creeper, he'll die, right? So we want to make sure that the uh, creeper, this creeper at least, attacks first, right? So don't forget that. Good job. I'm thinking, man. I'm thinking. All right. Can you end turn? I want to beat you. Do I have Nora? I good. All right. So he's not dead. Again, do we, either we get out of range or we attack. He's at 34. Do I think... He's dead, though, either way, right, with the 8 AP. Does he have any type of AP stop, like the blockade? I don't think so. He's dead either way, then. Let's see. Should we math this out? Do I have to? I think I have to. Oh, mathing? I don't want to math. No, we're not going to math. We're not going to math, guys. We're no, ma we're no, we're no mathing. We're just going to YOLO. YOLO NASA. YOLO NASA, that's called. Ooh, actually, you might even... I don't know. Let's just do this. See what happens. Alright, so like I said, he was going to die. But he's, alright, we're going to get in range of Worm Lord. We're going to get in range of Commander, which we are. Is he in range of Worm Lord? Nope, not yet. Now we are. We're going to use this thing. Oh, wait, one less? Oh, god damn it. Alright, we're going to do Paralyze, because that means he has reduced defense, right? And now he's at four. And now we can attack once with him. And then this should be a kill and a deployment zone. Correct? Yay! That was cool. All right. Um, next. Oh, I want to actually. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Um, and then we can just mm, attack with him. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, we could. We can kill this thing. Possibly. <gasps> Maybe. It's close. We can try. We have double taps, right? So let's do it. Yeah, this thing's dead, right? Yeah, he's he's dead. He's dead. Is he? Nine. Yeah, okay, he's dead. All good. And I get the Norglobe, which means I can get tough, right? So again, now we do tough. Can you do, do tough? Spend three charges. Oh, do I not? Did I not? Is he already tough? Wait, what happened? I got the... Oh, I think I met... Wait, what? I got the... Oh, wait, what? Did I not get a Norglobe? I might have not gotten a Norglobe. I'm not sure. I'm not paying attention, guys. Um, we'll just move him up. I'll move him down. Ah, whatever. GG. Anyway, so look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I have... I'm at the fucking middle of the font. Even though they're all almost dead. <laughs> Everything's basically dying. But it's fine, because he doesn't have the font. I'll just keep deploying, and then you know what's up. 
And yeah. Wow, he has 8 AP. That's funny. Also, he deployed his avatar, now that I think about it. That was probably the worst thing you could do. Because now these champions that he has are the last champions he's ever going to have, right? Because I, I have my consume resources up again next turn. So whenever it gets off cooldown, I'm just going to consume resources again, right? So, yeah. Anyway, here's... All right, so there's the implant skull. I thought it was infest. Anyway, so sacrifice target own champion, and a crested fest unit is summoned... Oh, it's 3 AP? God damn. In its place with 5 AP. Other friendly worms gain 3 AP. Think about that. Just think about that. Every worm gets 3 AP. That's insane. I did not think about that myself. Wow, I thought it was 2. But 3 AP, that's like a tiny bit less than uh, mobilization. And you know, this is a 35 Nora spell. Only 35 Noras. And you get a champion. Like, God damn. All right, what can we kill next? We have so much AP on this thing. I kind of want the logistics flanking to get out finally. And maybe we can kill this thing, right? Possibly. He's evasive, though. He's evasive one, so it's fine. Look at this. <laughs> we'll just do that. <laughs> oh, he's so fucked. Oh, this is pure brilliant. I love it. All right, so we don't have logistics flanking yet, sadly. Oh, no, he has a mirror shield. That's no fun. Um... <laughs> Can we kill this? Um, hmm. He has, uh, not mirror show, I'm saying. He has, uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't know, whatever it's called. How many? Two more. Do I do this? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I just go for this thing? Yeah, I just go for that thing. Wait, he also has it? How does everything have? I'm so confused about what he's doing and why all his units have, uh, Let's just move him over here too, just to help protect these these two ranged champions. Um, I could use this. Nah, let's just do this. <laughs> anyway, so he gets this font for a turn down here, I guess. But I mean, all of his champions are um, awestruck. I don't see how, how did when did all of his champions get Blizzard cloak? When did that happen? I wasn't paying attention. It's fine. It's fine. We're playing the slow game. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. I mean, as long as these guys don't die, obviously. If they die, then we're kind of sad. But And we get the other Shattering Maw in two turns, so... And then we'll just deploy him. And like, like we said, look look at our deployment. We'll deploy into this font, right? What are you going to do? I'll deploy a tank. I'll blow, ooh, Carrying Colossus. All right, so I need... Let's see. I have 67 Nora next turn. Do have, oh, this is 68. That's close. I actually don't have anything for 67 Nora, which kind of sucks. No! Another containment unit. How could you? That's funny. That is actually kind of funny. Lul. It's fine. That's fine. I mean, like, what is he going to do? He's not going to deploy. I mean, he can't deploy. Oh, that's kind of an interesting idea here. Do we... I guess we have to, right? We can't... We can't just... We have to consume resources. Kind of just what we do, so... Yeah, we should do that. Boop! There you go. Boop! There you go. And now we retreat. I mean, we're not in attack range, right? Actually, he is. No, he's not. We have Swap. Swap is kind of scary on the Wolverine. But I don't think too much should happen. We could get into the... Oh, oh, no. This is not true, though, right? No, I don't think so. I was going to say, does the spell resistance go on my champions? I don't, I don't see it on them as a play. So I don't think it does. Let me see if it goes on him next. Yeah, so he has a spell resistance. They don't. Okay, good. Dude, how insane would that be if the uh, Shrine Deployment Zone also increased the uh, the spell resistance? That would be so insane. Anyway, so yeah, all his champs are kind of far away, so this is fine. I have Logistics flanking, hopefully next turn, I believe. He's mirrored still, though, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. We have uh, Paralyzed, though, which is nice. We should just VP this pilgrim. I swear. This yeah, let's just VP the pilgrim. I swear. This thing is annoying me. I don't need this. I don't need this shit. I'm a strong, independent woman. 
Actually, we have the Chattering Maw. We can just play the Chattering Maw, too, and just fuck everything up for him. Uh, we are partially SP, so this is kind of what we do, correct? Yeah, it is. It is kind of what we do. This is... We just do a, a little smacky smack. Do, do you still have these? How many? How many do you have left? I'm so confused. Can we kill this thing, actually? No, it's mirrored shield. Can we kill this thing? Finally! Okay, so he doesn't he doesn't have that. Very good. So we're gonna go ahead and um uh, smack. Is that 18? Oh no! I need to play a spell, don't I? I don't wanna do that. I don't like spells. Ooh, you know what I could do? Oh no, he still has that. Uh, this thing has detection. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Right. Um, um let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. So I could play a spell and kill this. Righty. Okay, also just. I mean, he doesn't have any damage next turn. So we just, just do this. So he's now paralyzed. We'll attack this one more time. He's at nine. Uh, do I want to play an implant on him? I could. Alright, I'll do it just to show you guys, okay? This is for your guys' benefit. Boom. Implant. Oh, okay. Well, that's. I guess a bit worse. <laughs> oh no. Am I going to implant one of his champions? That'd be funny. No, okay, I don't. Very good. So, look at that. 3 AP. 3 fucking AP. How insane is that shit, dude? That is really insane, in my opinion. And now I can attack his mirror champion, right? So let's just attack the Jekai. And I get 3 AP. I get 3 AP, right? Um, we can get this Norglob too. Sure, why not? Oh, wait. What? He. What? Why? 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 Why did I not engage with this thing? Oh, he's paralyzed. That's why. Huh. My bad. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Any Any of you watch Book of Nine Nine? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's like, guys, I'm gonna get my font soon. I'm like, no, it's not gonna happen. I have consumed resources up in two turns, bruh. Bruh. What you gonna do? You can't deploy no more. You know where I'm deploying? Right there. Right fucking. Anyway, I like this battle group. It's funny. The thing is, right now, though, I'm not really in the mood for these slow battle groups because I've been playing, like, Slags for a while and, like, all these other kind of slow themes that, like, build up. And I kind of feel like playing something more aggressive, like, uh, I don't know, Deep Wounds or, or Electric. So that's probably what I'm going to play next. I just wanted to show you guys this battle group because it's fun. Ah, it's my turn. All right, so we can finally kill this thing, maybe. Or kill something. Um, what do we do here? We could. Could. You know what we could do? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Ooh, we could do... We already have flanking, though, so it doesn't really make that much sense. We could do it, though, right? Well, can we? Let's see. Double tap with flanking. It's 15-15. That's 14-14. That's 28. 28 plus... He already has flanking, too. You can't double flanking. Hmm. I could just deploy. Do I have any... Oh, ooh. This is physical damage. This is physical damage, right? And we're SP. Never forget, friends. We are SP. So, what do we do? We deploy. Like a boss. All right. Um, we're just gonna... Even though heh, he got his font back, but that's fine. What do we... Can we kill something here? Can we kill this thing, maybe? He's mirrored still, which annoys me. We could kill... Can we kill it? It's close. He's 55, and he's at 49. Oh, it takes so much damage, though. I can just kill this thing, and then I don't take damage. Or just kill the Jakai. Alright, let's see. What's my damage here on the Jakai? Nine. Yeah, I don't know, man. Just How much does that do? Boom, boom! I mean, it's 8-8, eight, eight, right? I probably could have killed this thing. Yeah, if I had double-tapped him, I think I could have gotten the kill. Barely. Ah, whatever. Let's just retreat. Get out of this attack range. Or you just keep the, the blinking creeper here. Right? Or mind thief, whatever it's called. Anyway, and next turn we'll just consume resources again, right? So. Kind of sad that he gets the font for this turn, but <laughs> next turn it's gone. Next turn it's gone. I wonder if I could play some type of spell that reduces my spell cooldown. Oh, I could play that one ST unit. No, I'm not playing ST. Never mind. That's dumb. Oh, no, he deployed. I'm scared. Just kidding. I'm not scared. I'm annoyed, though, by this mirror shield. I really should just VP this thing and be over with it. I just, I just don't want to VP it for some reason. 
I want to keep deploying because that's what we do. That's what we do. What is cool though is we have the uh, vic vig vigorous, not vigorous cry, not vicious, vigorous. Oh, uh, I have to pee. I drank coffee because I, so I was having about to go work out, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drink a coffee. So I'm like hump, pumped to go work out, and then I was like, you know what? If I'm drinking coffee anyway, I might as well play a game. And then I was like, well, if I'm playing a game, I might as well record. So then it kind of all went into a giant chain of me just recording now, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, this pilgrim should finally be dead. Look at this fetch, though. Fetch doesn't work. Let's just uh, just do another consume resources. <gasps> and we consume the resources. Goodbye, resources. And now we do a little of the killings. Oh, wait, I'm not... Ah, uh, it's fine. Should I be in... No, it doesn't matter too much here, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. So we'll just kill this thing. Hopefully. Hopefully. Boom, boom. All right, we need one more hit, which is kind of depressing, but it happens. Shit happens, you know what I'm saying? I'll we'll just go attack this thing. Uh, and then, you know what are we going to do? Another one. Hello? Oh, I can't do it on, it has to be on a champion, that's why. Well, okay, because that's not happening then. Um, We will, ooh, this will be fun. We can just do this right here, right here. <gasps> oh, shit, dude, I can put Rock Trap wherever I want. All right, let's just do this then. I forgot about that, because it's my deployment zone. I can put the Rock Trap wherever I damn well please. Wherever I damn well please. I was like, first, I have to put it next to my champion, but this whole deployment zone, I should play more relics then, huh? I didn't think about that. I should play more relics. Anyway, so he's going to kill my Crested Fesh. That's fine. When he moves in, all three of these guys are going to get, uh, what's it called? Stunned. That's the word. Stunned. I wonder if he's going to attack first with the Howler or not. Nope, he doesn't. I win. Well, I already won a long time ago. See, he might think he has a, a chance, but don't don't get me wrong. He has no chance. Obviously, if I accidentally misclick the Transfigure, he has a chance. Wait, what just happened? What the, what the, what the heck was that? I thought, I thought you were... What? Oh, is it because he took the damage? Is that maybe why? That could be why. Anyway, uh, we can just VP the Wolverine now, though. Because he's at exactly 20 health. So we can just VP him. Get this Norglobe. Kill his Phoenix. Do we have enough for VP? Let's see. It's 55, right? 55. We have 4, 5, 50. Yeah, okay. It's good. 57. We Gucci. Oh, you think you're going to play Blizzard Cloak and a Blessing of the Queen? Whatever. Do, do you think I give a fuck? That thing is going out of here. Look at this shit. Unless, oh, what if he has another, what if he has the, uh, whatever. Like, I think he might have the um, the one spell. He doesn't. Ha, I win. Okay, cool. I thought he might have that one spell, but he doesn't, so we're good. All right, uh, can we kill this thing? Yeah, right. Oh, we have exactly perfect damage. Look at that. Oh, no, we don't. Fuck. Well, final double tap. Make me double tap. Whatever. See what I care. Oh, ooh, I got two more AP. Um... I should have maybe moved. Ooh, double tap. Easy. Oh, <laughs> that's something I forgot about. All right, let's, uh, should we run away with him maybe? <laughs> I don't feel like having him die. He, he gets so much AP through the, the soul vitality. I don't want to be in double tap range. Do I, ooh, I can just do this. Whoop. I mean, I take the three damage, but at least he can't double tap me anymore. Um, yeah, this is fine. I like this. And he, he still can't deploy anything. Oh, it's so, that's rich. That's rich. Oh, yeah, so I have to go to the gym after this, go to some some lifting of the weights. Now that I'm done with my bachelor, so yeah, guys, I finished my bachelor, I, um, my bachelor work, uh, what's, what's Abed of, of English, whatever. Ooh, he has, oh yeah, because of the shroud, right, yeah, okay. Um, so now I have a bit more time, but to be honest, I don't really want to spend my time playing Pox Nora. Like, if I'm, ooh, <laughs> I can't fuck, dude. Oh, just to play right here, dude. We can just, there you go. Anyway, um, like, I'm, if I'm going to be playing a game, it's going to not, I like, I, I'd ideally just help, um, what's his name? Um, Capitulator. Like, I like the game Pox Nora, but it, uh, it's dead. <laughs> well, it's not dead. It's just that they're not, you know, working on it. So it's just like, it's a little depression sometimes. You know what I'm saying? What is it? Oh, whatever. 
So it's just like, if I'm going to be playing a game... Oh, I, <laughs> I stayed in range of that. All right, he's dead. That's good. But I stayed in range of the double tap from the Howler. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm so dumb. All right. Um, so, yeah. All right, so they're both dead. Now, that's fine. Shuriken's dead. I'm going to get all the Norglobes, though. I can even get it with the Blinking Creeper, maybe? No, I don't know. Nora. All right, so he's dead. This will be dead. He can get this. Actually, he can go up there if he wants. I have my blood fueled. I don't even have to play the uh, the we consume anymore because he's not getting his font right. I don't even have to play consume. I have my font now. He doesn't have his. So we we'll just kill this, get both these normal globes, deploy, and then hopefully he'll surrender. Obviously, this game took very long versus a player that you know. I mean, he was playing ST, so that does have kind of merit for it being a bit of a harder game. But you know, you don't really know Ali Vegas to be like a, a pro player. I mean, by pro, I mean one of the better players on Fox Nora. So there is that. All right, so let's just let's just go and kill him. Let's get this Nora globe. There we go. Let's get this thing. Put that right here and get this Nora globe. Get the the mutation tough. There we go. And now we can actually. Ooh, we have the vigorous cries. Ooh, I'm not in range though. Unless I move this way, but then I can double tap, which I kind of want to do, right? Blood fueled attack, attack. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's fine. See what I care. Move him up. Attack this thing once. Attack this thing once. Move him up so we're not in gale force range. And then just uh, end turn. Yeah. I like it, man. Basically, the whole game, he had no fonts. And I was deploying up here. Of course, now, if I think about it, though. If I was playing full fashion for second waste, at this point in the game... And he had less... But the thing is, he didn't have the mid-font. Like, so much of the game, he didn't have the mid-font. And that's what you have to do. Against worms, you just rush, and you win. Because worms are pretty weak by themselves. But if you just rush them, you lose. But you can't rush if you're playing against consumed, because you don't you don't have the, the resources to rush, right? So I feel like the idea with the consume is really not bad. Especially implant, dude. Fucking 3 AP. 3 fucking AP on all your champions is insane. Or... Or, 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 my, my. All right, let's go get, get that. Ooh, I want to play the Carrion Colossus, kind of. We'll just deploy, uh, deploy it over here. Deploy, deploy. Do we just, oh, can we Parasitic Fetch the Avatar? That'd be fun. I don't think we can, though, sadly. Uh, we could play this thing. I don't know. I don't really I don't want that, though. What do I want here? I mean, don't think I, it doesn't matter. Let's just deploy. I kind of want to play this just for the memes. Let's just play this for the memes. Let's put that right there. Cool, 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 cool. All right, do I ever attack this thing? I guess I have to, right? Because I can't kill it with this. So we move up here. No, we don't move up. We just do this. We want to get out of attack range, if anything. So move back to. So he's one, two, three. We can actually move up one, one, two, three, four. There we go. So we're in the font. And yeah, we have four champions. So we Gucci. And we're just going to parasitic fetch him, dude. Parasite that shit. Parasite that shit. I like how he's still playing. I kind of find that like, should I surrender, guys? Just to be like, hey, you know, I do that pretty often. You guys have no idea how often I do that. Where I, when I see someone who just won't give up, and I really feel bad because I know they're just going to lose. I'm just like, especially against new players, when they're like PSN players and they just keep playing even though they have like no chance whatsoever, right before I think they're going to surrender, I just surrender. It's fun. It makes me feel good. And hopefully it makes them feel good too. You guys should do that too. Cause I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay around uh, 3,000 points. So, ooh, look. <laughs> He's infested. Man, when was the last time you saw that shit, dude? Holy shit. All right, let's just retreat and just, uh, you know, just enjoy. Just enjoy this thing being infested. Being infested. All right. Next turn, we're going to deploy the Carrying Colossus, and then we're going to surrender, okay? So we have this game one, obviously. Like, like my font deployment zone's up here. I can just do another consume resources if I want. He's he, he's lost, but I want to give him the benefit of the doubt because I feel bad for him, right? So I, I feel I'm I 100 agree that I will I could have moved him back, right? There's nothing. I, I I had this game one, right? I have my font deployment zone is on his shrine. Uh, you know I can consume. I have 100 Nora next turn. So we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna be like, hi. I would have won, but. I don't want, 
want you to feel bad, so we're just gonna, wait, not that, oh, fuck, I did it again, whatever, there you go, there's the GG now, um, so, good game, guys, surrender, alright, cool, so we gave him the win, because we felt bad, and I don't really, oh, 69, <laughs> hell yeah, guys, because of that loss, we got 69, so that is, uh, very important, um, 2969, two, ooh, I should get 6,000 points, because then it could be 6969, hmm, is that worth the effort, probably not, but, I could get two, no, no, I could get, no, I can't, mm, damn, anyway, GG, there you see the battle group, kind of a fun battle group right there, um, again, if there was a lot of players, you might see it, just because it is interesting, and dude, 3 AP for that uh, quest effect is cool, anyway, GG guys, and uh, see you later.